Am I sexy? I look like I'm a part of some science experiment. Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I will be trying out instant facelift tape. Now, for those of you who don't know, facelift tape has been around for years. It's a great cheap alternative to Botox and actual surgical facelifts. And it's commonly used for editorial makeup and photo shoots. Oh, and a lot of drag queens use it also. And so today I thought I would give this technique a try to see if it works. I'm so excited to be partnering up with Hourglass Cosmetics for this video. Later, I'll be showing you some of my favorite products from them. So stay tuned or feel free to skip ahead to the timestamp. So the product I'll be trying out today is from Mark Trainer. This is the Miracle Face and Neck Lift Double Kit with Invisi Tape. Inside you get two facelift sets and one neck lift set. And it comes with a lot of tape refills. So this is what my face looks like in a resting state. Usually when I'm filming or taking photos, I kind of like lift everything back. And so my face looks more lifted, my eyes look bigger, my eyebrows come up and my hairline comes up as well. Um, but yeah, usually if I'm not doing that, I'm like this. So I'm hoping that these facelift tapes will actually give me that lift without having to move my muscles back all the time. So this is the facelift tape. One side has these little rings that you can slot this metal um, piece through to secure it at the back. So you would tape this on the area that you want lifted and then you would loop this through whichever loop depending on how tight you want it at the back to secure. So it's like this. Now you want to do this before you put your makeup on or on an area that's clean. So for me, I'm going to like try to lift my eyebrow and a bit of my eye up. So it's like that. So then I'm just going to peel this tape and place it down here. Then when I pull it, it gets lifted. Ooh. I'm going to do the same to this side. So now when I pull it, it should lift my eye up. Oh, it's very cat eye. I'm going to put another set around here to pull up my skin just around here. So that just takes away this smile line, just smooths it out. So now I'm going to section off the top bit of my hair actually only two sections and I'm going to secure this at the back. Oh, this feels really weird, especially in my eyes. I think I stuck it too low. I think I want it a bit higher. I'm going to do that part again. Okay, so I put the facelift tape higher. However, it's kind of like wrinkling a little bit. Now the real test is seeing how my makeup looks over this. I'm going to get started with my makeup now and for this part I've partnered up with Hourglass Cosmetics. I love their brand and I've been using them for years. They make excellent high quality products. If you guys didn't know, Hourglass is a cruelty free luxury beauty brand and in 2020 they're going to go completely vegan. First things first, I'm going to apply the Vanish Veil Mineral Primer. This is an oil free primer with a silky airy texture that leaves a smooth canvas for makeup. It helps to reduce the look of redness, pores and wrinkles. Then I'm going to use my Vanish Seamless Finish Stick Foundation in Warm Ivory. And I'm just going to swipe that all over my face. Now this is a weightless waterproof foundation. It's super long wearing and it also doubles up as a concealer as well because it's high coverage. Now I did read that facelift tapes can be hard to conceal. So usually models, they use their hair to cover it or wigs. So I'm just going to buff this foundation into my skin and I love how it just blends so seamlessly. My skin looks airbrushed whenever I use this. Oh. This foundation is good for all skin types. If you have normal skin, dry skin, oily or combination skin type, this stick foundation can be used on all of them. And I believe it comes in 32 shades. Okay, so my skin is looking flawless. Here's quick before and after. As for the tape, it's kind of covered them like these bottom ones okay. But these top ones, it's because 
my forehead wrinkles and so it's obvious maybe I kind of need to like reposition the band at the back maybe it's on a weird angle or maybe it's just because I have a wrinkly forehead that's okay I'm just gonna use my hair to cover that part anyway now I'm going to contour I'm just using a darker vanish stick foundation this color is almond and I'm just going to apply it slightly under my cheekbones and I'm kind of going to bronze and contour at the same time I'm also going to apply a bit of that foundation on my eyes just as an eye base and now because my eyes are so lifted I'm going to kind of wing it out as well so I'm just going to blend this outwards oh so lifted now to set my base and make everything last longer I'm going to be using the veil translucent setting powder this is a talc free vegan formula that helps to blur out your pores, any fine lines and wrinkles, giving you that airbrushed look. Definitely what I'm going for. Now I'm going to set my brows first. I know it's weird, but it makes my eyebrow pencil or gel, whatever I use, last longer. And then I'm going to do it under my eyes, just slightly pat it. Now this is a translucent formula, so you can use it on all skin tones and skin types. It's actually formulated with diamond powder, so it still gives your face a little bit of dimension so it doesn't actually flatten everything out. And I've got to make sure I powder my eyes as well because I applied foundation on there. Oh my god, you can see how red my ear is getting from this elastic just like pushing down in it. I think I need to lift it, lift it up a little bit. Oh my god. Ugh, beauty's pain, right? This side's not too bad. I think maybe this side I just stuck the tape a little bit too low. For my brows, I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Brow Pomade. And I'm just going to do small hairs like strokes. It just started raining really hard, so apologies if you can hear the thunder and the rain. So glad I'm not outside today. So I filled in my brows and I noticed that the shape is a lot more arched than normal because of the tape. Usually I draw them on quite straight because that's how they normally sit. But yeah, I'm, I'm digging this arched brows. I'm looking fierce. Moving on to eyes, I'm going to be using this Santa Fe palette from BH Cosmetics. So for my eyes, I'm just using clay just all over just to deepen that color up that I had on before and now a lot of you guys noticed in my hair braiding video that I have an engagement ring on oh it's a bit crooked but it's on there um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram then you guys wouldn't have known that Alfred and I got engaged Yay! I will be uploading a video talking about it with Alfred and sharing our engagement video um, we just have to edit it so please be patient we am super excited I didn't expect it so you guys will be seeing a lot more maybe wedding content on my channel when I start planning the wedding. Whew! It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm super excited. My ear is really hurting me. I think I'm gonna just take this off. Just detach it for a little bit so my, my ear can rest. Oh my God, it feels so good to just like let down my face. <laughs> Such a weird thing to say. Oh, I can move my face. Then I'm gonna go in with plaza just to deepen up the outer corners and then just pull that shadow up oh my god the storm <gasps> and then I'm going to go in with Meza and just pop that color in the center then I'm going to quickly line my top lash line with the hourglass mechanical gel liner this is really thin so it's easy to work with and I love using it to get right into the inner corner of my eye. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I love this mascara because it doesn't smudge and it helps my lashes stay lifted. A little trick I like to do is place a card or a piece of paper behind my lashes. That way when I apply mascara, it doesn't actually touch my lid and I can get into all the little hairs. 
Can you guys see the difference? It's like I have lashes and then I have no lashes. It makes such a big difference. It really helps to open up my eyes. And I love that it doesn't drop my lashes because a lot of mascaras, when I apply it on, everything just drops. I've just rehooked this uh, bottom tape because I'm going to apply blush. And I kind of like move the elastic a little bit higher so I feel like it's more comfy now. For blush, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Compact in Rose. And I'm just going to place it just above where I contoured. Now this has like a pinky hue to it, plus it's got shimmer, so I'm not going to have to highlight after this. This is totally giving me like supermodel cheekbones. Look at that. And for my lips, I'm going to be using the Unreal High Shine Volumizing Lip Gloss. Now you guys know that I always have such chapped lips, so I love that lip gloss is back. And I love this formula as well. This has been my go-to lip gloss lately. Honestly, if you have dry lips, you need to get this. It just smooths out all my lines. It plumps up my lips without the sting. It's hydrating and it comes in 18 shades with a variety of finishes. There's sheer shimmer, opaque shine and soft pearl finishes. Now let me just cover up the tape with my hair as best as I can. Usually if it's for editorial, the editor would actually retouch these stickers out. But generally you kind of want your hair to cover it. I think I stuck that one too low. That one's not going to be covered. But the other three is pretty much under my hair. Now how does it feel wearing the facelift tape? To be honest, like these ones I kind of forgot about. Like these ones didn't hurt. I couldn't really feel that they were there whilst I was doing my makeup. I pretty much like forgot about them. But these one, because it's like resting on my ear, the elastic, I could feel the pressure there. So it is a little bit painful, but I think that's, that's my fault because I stuck it too low. I don't feel on this side. So if I had moved the tape a little bit higher, I could avoid that problem. In terms of the look, this is my resting face. Compared to before, you can see which areas it's lifted. It's made my eyes look bigger. My eyebrows are more arched. And when I actually try to lift my muscles up like I usually do, I can barely do it because I feel like it's already up. All you can see is my ears move. Overall, I do really like the wrist. Oh my gosh. I would rate this product a 7 out of 10. I think compared to other facelift tapes on the market, like the stretchy ones, you just kind of like fold your skin. I think this one works way better. I think this is great if you're more mature and you've got more loose skin that you want to pull up. And if it's just for a special occasion, if it's just for a night out, I think these tapes are great. The only thing is you'll just have to play around with the position a little bit. And thankfully, if you buy the refill pack, there's quite a lot of these refills for you. Oh my gosh, the rain is crazy. Anyways, that is it to this episode of Tina Tries It. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay updated with future videos that I post. And please follow me on Instagram. I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Oh my God, these are really stuck on. I thought I could just rip them off, but my baby hairs would go with it. I'm just using some makeup remover. Wow, it's so strong. Whoa. that still ripped out some of my baby hairs. So please be careful when removing these. Use an oil-based makeup remover. That is all. Goodbye.